Hello and welcome to the shack of G5 STO. Um, this thing was built out of the necessity to be able to switch um, uh, antennas remotely uh, via Wi-Fi because I wanted to uh, have different antennas uh, on different frequencies and then just simply use different tuned antennas um, for different various reasons. One of them it goes with the Ultimate 3 which is there um, doing its thing except the altitude. So yeah, basically this is a Wi-Fi antenna switch that I designed and um, put together and it seems to be working fine. So there's the GUI um, on the phone, which is about to run out of battery. And there's the actual board. So we've got ourselves a Wi-Fi board there. There's the basic bias T. I'm just running um, some sort of lash up wires going on there. And then just 12 volts on the power supply up to these wires and then protected via the bias T. So our RF is prevented here and blocked our DC from here. So just these 10 kilovolt high voltage capacitors um, are making up the DC, uh, sorry, the bias circuit, the bias T circuit. So in, in this line here, which is 33 gig um, Hubo Shuna, very expensive cable, but I thought it was appropriate. And, and there is our RF coming out of the second wire here. So this is our RF coming out and a, sorry, this is a power and RF going in and this is our RF coming in. So this will go off to our radio or the coax coming into the thing because this is just the other half. This is the top half of the bias T which powers the switch. The bottom half is going to be in a different video. So there we are. So there was just a simple um, Wemos D1 Mini, not Mini Pro, but you could put a Pro in there, same code, and that would allow you to uh, have a better antenna, uh, external antenna for better range and stuff like that. This is not going to have a brilliant amount of range, but that's okay for experimenting with. These are just two quid or something each, so about three dollars. Um, American dollars. So there we are. So let's give it a go. So if we switch on antenna one, and then we see antenna one comes on, that's so I can get get this all in the same shot. Switch off antenna one. There we are. And switch on oops, antenna two. Just sending a beacon at the moment. Sorry about that. Let's one second. Let's switch on antenna. Antenna two. So we know that LED comes on antenna two. Antenna three. We got this. We can just get the light out of the way so it says stay on, turn off, and then antenna four, so and so forth. So we can switch each antenna on as we want, or all four. I will adjust the code to make it interlocking so that only one antenna can go on at the same time, otherwise, we may end up with some sort of infinite SWR or some sort of short or something, or one antenna um, being coupled and you know not presenting the true. Um, load so it'd be pointless having a tuned antenna on each one of these so I will I will change the code around to make it interlocked so you only one end so when you switch on one antenna another will switch off and something else I've been working on recently is the um, the code for auto connect so instead of just planting the code um, your Wi-Fi SSID etc into the main code body um, this will come up with the first time you switch on it'll be presented with a screen that's sort of basically asks you to enter your find your selected um, access point and then select the um, password put in your access point that will save in the the uh, sorry the EPROM and that will be uh, logged and every time you switch on after that it should just automatically connect to your Wi-Fi at the moment this has got I've had to put in the details manually which is okay for me which is good secure but um, in the future as I say I'll adjust the code and make it auto connecting so that's it in a nutshell it's all working uh, bias is good I'm going to try so I'm going to put the I was a sort of, this is a different board to the one I've been working with, but I'll, um, I'll try to get the connectors in. We're going to test for 50 ohm loads and stuff like that. Um, put one into a VNA, so on and so forth, and see what we're getting out. Making sure we present it with a good 50 ohm load here as well. That's what we want. We, we really want a 50 ohm load. So for us to put a, this is the common coming in, and each one of these will be the um, the antennas going out. But really, I'm just going to stick a, an antenna uh, on here. So I put a uh, antenna socket here and then put a uh, dummy load here for on four, for example, and then to see if we're getting a, a good 50, lo 50 M load. But this is the, the main part that the bias T is showing a good 50 M load as well. But all work in progress. Um, I am still an amateur. I'm not gonna claim to be some expert in um, designing, modeling and stuff like that. These are all bits and pieces that I've learned off the internet. Um, just taking scraps of information and just combining them to something which suits me. Not for anyone else, really. It's just it's, this is a necessity to suit my needs. Um, let's see if I can find the other. Oh, where's the other board's gone? There is somewhere. Oh, where we are. 
uh, I think this is it, yeah. So this is the, the hover for the BIOS-T, which is uh, in the need of assembly, so I'll, I'll crack on with that very shortly. Okay then, G5STO, thanks for watching.